become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today I'm going to talk about how Steve Reeves expanded his rib cage and later developed the Steve Reeves' Breathing Squad. Steve Reeves, like many Silver Era bodybuilders, realized the importance of expanding the rib cage, and early on in his career, took it upon himself to develop a large rib cage, which added to his classical proportions of wide shoulders and a tiny waist, accentuating his phenomenal V-taper even further. Here is a marvelous photo of Steve Reeves displaying his rib cage development, accentuating his rib cage development by having his arms overhead, hands clasped behind his neck, his lats are flaring out, all while holding a vacuum. Now that's muscle control. It's a fantastic photo. This photo really emphasizes the illusion that Reeves was trying to create, and didn't he do it well? I just love this photo. Believe it or not, Steve Reeves used the breathing back squat early on in his career to expand his ribcage. In his book, Dynamic Muscle Building, and in several articles from Your Physique, Steve Reeves talks about how performing the breathing back squat with the full back squat, that is, not only builds the bulk of the legs, but expands the ribcage due to the breathlessness the exercise causes, which encourages deep breathing. Instead of one set of 20 rep sets, Steve would perform three sets of 15 reps during his early days when he was building his bulk, although he also recommended the 20 rep squad to novices. Many of us Steve Reeves fans know that Reeves was a big fan of using specific exercises for shaping the physique once a solid foundation had been built, and by that I mean when sufficient strength and bulk was achieved. For this reason, for example, Reeves would use exercises such as the free weight, heels elevated, barbell hack squat as shown here. This was a classic exercise used by Steve Reeves. He loved it because it developed especially the teardrop muscles and adding delineation to his quads in the front, giving him the, the, the fantastic um, separation that we, we have grown accustomed to seeing in the photos that still exist of Steve Reeves. He used the hack squat and he used other specific exercises for bringing out the muscularity in his legs. Now the reason I emphasize the thought process that Reeves put into shaping his physique is because later in his career, with this thought in mind, especially during the early 50s to be precise, Reeves, still wanting to focus on shaping the legs and of course the rest of his physique, but still having that mindset that it was important to expand his ribcage, he eventually ditched the breathing squat, with the back squat that is, and instead he developed a new exercise that both satisfied his need for shaping his legs and also expanding his ribcage, and this was known as the Reeves Breathing Squat. In Reeves' Breathing Squat version, he basically would perform a breathing front squat. To paraphrase Reeves, you take a barbell and place it on your shoulders in a clean position, you can see this clearly on the photo, and you place a block under your heels and point your feet out at around 45 degrees. To start, you take a deep breath in, just like the breathing squat, and you hold the breath and squat down, bringing your knees out in line with your toes, again as shown in the photo here. Then pressing off the floor with your feet, you rise, contracting the quads, and you breathe out at the very top. Again, this, just, this sounds just like the breathing squat, except you're doing the front squat. And as the repetitions, of course, increase, you are supposed to breathe anywhere between three to five breaths between each repetition. Again, I'll repeat it. It's basically doing a breathing, uh, a breathing squat, but with your heels elevated, performing a front squat. Uh, the advantage of this exercise is that it, of course, shifts the weight now onto your quads, much more so than the back squat, and it burns the hell out of your quads still allowing you to perform, of course, the deep breathing to help expand your ribcage. I mean, you know, Steve, these guys were pioneers. They really knew what they were doing. They really had a thought, a real vision, a goal when they were trying to do something with their bodybuilding. They didn't just 
crank out the movements and the reps, there was a thought process behind there. And Reeves, just like all these other marvelous bodybuilders back then, thought about what he wanted and he tweaked the exercises to satisfy his needs. Brilliant. Uh, so yeah, that's that's basically the explanation of the Steve Reeves breathing squat. Steve also mentions that it was very important to keep the chest real high. Again, you can see that in this photo. He's got his chest real high. And he also, to help that, he actually points his elbows forward. Because once you start dropping the elbows down, your head goes down, your chest goes down. And having just said that, it was also very important to raise the head when performing the deep breathing during the breathing squats. So that's keep the chest high, keep the elbows high, and look slightly up, you know, keep the chin up. These tips will help you uh, keep upright during the movement of the breathing, uh, the, the, sorry, the Reeves breathing squat, whilst raising your chest will also, of course, allow the rib cage to stretch. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Steve Reeves' rib cage expansion methods, then please check out my webpage, www.goldenerabookroom.com, for a new ebook titled Reeves Rib Cage and Full Body Routine. And this book, in this book, you're going to find Steve Reeves' favorite full body routine from the 1950s. Reeves called it his favorite routine because it allowed him to both shape his physique while still focusing on enlarging his rib cage. I love this routine from Reeves because with most exercises in this routine, he tweaks them to allow for deep breathing to further encourage his rib cage. Again, there's a thought process behind the sculpting of Reeves's physique, and it's clearly presented in this little book. It's a fantastic little ebook. It's about 30 pages long. Also available, uh, other titles from Reeves, How I Develop Broad Shoulders, How I Develop My Waist, all and much more available at my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed this look at the Reeves breathing squat. And if you happen to incorporate it into your routine, please let me know how you go, share your results with us. We'd love to know how it works out for you. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and please share and leave your comments. To support the channel, please donate via PayPal, become a patron, or visit my website for how to print books and courses on old school bodybuilding, and get in touch via email to collaborate or pass on your bodybuilding relics. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Book I'm saying. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.